Hi students, so today we are going to learn about um, activity 1.3 about microorganism, the prevention and the treatment. So let's see together information about antibiotic. What is antibiotic and what happened to the patient who does not take to as the prescribed antibiotic given? Antibiotic cause uh, is a uh, very complicated. Yeah, I think it's more complicated cause because if you go, go and visit the doctor after you are healed you can stop taking the Panadol you can stop taking the medicine but antibiotic you must eat finish even you are okay already you are good you are healthy you are happy you can run you can fly but you also must take antibiotic because the doctor say ah, why eh? why we must follow and what is antibiotic resistant? So, what is antibiotic? Antibiotic is a medicine used to treat infection caused by bacteria. What will happen to a patient does not take antibiotic as prescribed by the doctor? Doctor say one thing, he want to do another thing. So what happened? So it will cause the resume treatment later, promote and it will promote antibiotic resistance of harmful bacteria means the antibiotic you eat so that it will 100% kill all the bacteria but since you take a little bit and you stop the bacteria come back coming back for real come back for real right like playing game you haven't been the war but they attack and now they are getting stronger because they know you already they know the antibiotic what is the antibiotic resistant first antibiotic resistant we can see that uh, this one, where is it? Hmm. Okay, happen when an antibiotic loses its ability to kill bacteria. So this is the one. Okay, so for this one, carry the experiment 1.3 to study the effect of concentrated antibiotic penicillin on the growth of bacteria. So this is the experiment you want to do. So basically you put the um, dish and we can see here that, let read here, filter paper soaked with 10% and this one filled with 20%, this one 30%. So of course, the medicine with 10% will be clear region will be bigger because the bacteria is all over here. Let's draw the bacteria. Let's say this is the bacteria. A lot, a lot of bacteria. But for the 10%, the clear space, let's say the clear space will be this big. Because only 10%, so it will be this big. 20% will be bigger. And 30% will be even bigger. So let's draw it. Let's give them a circle. Small, big, and even bigger because this is 30%. So the clear region um this one you need to do in your school lah. so maybe here i put 10 for anything like 10 um pi j power of 2 right so maybe here i put 20 30 and then i put here 40 cm unit 2 already given the unit so what is the conclusion let's see what's the conclusion so the conclusion is the higher the concentration of antibiotic, the growth of bacteria, the lower the growth of bacteria, correct or not? Means here is higher, so it will be the lower growth of bacteria because all the bacteria is the red color dot and the red color dot is just outside the dish here. Okay, this is the red color dot. So it depends on how much concentrator that you want to use. So who is the first one that create penicillin? Who create it? So we can study here Sir Alexander Fleming. Study the action of penicillin fungus on the growth of bacteria on sterilized nutrient algae. Experiment 1.3. So, um, Sir Alexander Fleming was the first person to discover. He's the first person that to find about this thing. That he put this and then it can kill the 
bacteria. A clear region means it already managed to kill the bacteria. So if I'm not mistaken, he is also the first person to try the medicine. Because after he got the medicine, then who want to try for you? You are the first person that create this medicine. So I, if I'm not mistaken, he inject himself his medicine. So he do experiment on himself and it worked. It worked magic. The new creation of medicine, the new creation of penicillin. Uh, sorry, penicillin medicine. Okay, the discovery of antibiotic medicine. So I think I think he is smart lah. Not easy to create a medicine and not easy to test on yourself. You want to put something that you create and you want to test on your own body. So um, Alexander Fleming studied the action of penicillin SP fungus on bacteria. And penicillin SP is the name lah, lah the name. Method to treat. So a few disease depend on um method of treating we see pneumonia last time a lot of people die by pneumonia like your lung start to have water something like that that's watery in your lung is it something like that so we want to use antibiotic penicillin so last time a lot of people die by pneumonia after they got the medicine then they stop people really like die a lot even even the calculate ratio i think maybe people that die in pneumonia is like Maybe same or more than coronavirus if you calculate according to ratio. Athlete food caused by fungus. So example, we need to use antifungal like clotrimazole. And what is this? Shingless. Like this one is like the Chinese medicine, is it? Like people say like snake or what? I don't know caused by a virus so we need to use antiviral like acrylovil now COVID-19 we are still looking for vaccine hopefully one day there is antiviral means that if you got COVID-19 you go to hospital hospital can give you medicine now we still don't have medicine for COVID-19 and it is spreading fast so hopefully now we are busy working for vaccine and I think one day and hopefully we are so happy antiviral. Okay, so let's look at this question. Um, state five example of aseptic technique used to control the spread of pathogen. What are the five examples? Correct. So you can find your answer in page 33 where you can see this one aseptic. Uh, sterilization, boiling, use of antiseptic, use of disinfectant, and use of radiation. Question number two. How is the antiseptic technique relate to the phrase prevention is better than cure? Hmm, how does it relate? So we can see here um, prevention, the phrase prevention is better than cure by using aseptic technique. Correct or not? Means that this means um, preventing somebody from being infected with pathogen is better than treating them. Correct or not? Because, how does it relate? Because preventing someone from being infected with pathogen is better than treatment. For example, like fever, maybe you want to eat an apple a day to keep the doctor away. Correct or not? Or you want to become sick, I mean if you got two choices lah. You want to eat apple and then no become sick or you want to become sick then you eat Panadol. Of course the first one right, you want to eat fruit, you want to exercise. So prevention is better than cure. But the question it asks how does it relate? So you can say the anti aseptic technique is related prevention is better than cure by preventing someone from being infected with pathogen is better than treating someone. Right now, it's better prevent the disease rather than giving the medicine. Question number three, what is sterilization? So what is sterilization? Sterilization is the process of killing an eliminated microorganism from an object or a particular surrounding. Okay, so the sterilization at page um, 34 in your textbook. 
B. Using antifungal to treat athlete food and other disease. Hey, sorry, uh, I, I read the wrong question. Okay, uh, 3B. How is sterilization is carried out? So we, so we can see um, so how sterilization is carried out. It can be carried out by um, rising the temperature above 130 degrees in an autoclave, for example. Or we can use a micron filter to filter fine particles and microorganisms from water and liquid. So this is also one of the way to how to practice the sterilization. C. 3C. Why is the use of autoclase more effective in preventing microorganisms compared to boiling water? Eh? I mean boiling and autoclave. Why autoclave is superior compared to boiling? So we can see here the temperature for autoclave is higher than the boiling of water. We can see here autoclave temperature can reach up to 130 degrees Celsius, whereas for boiling water it is only 100 Celsius. So that's the answer. State one similarity and one difference between antiseptic and disinfectants. What are the similarity and difference? So the similarity, we can say that um, antiseptic and disinfectant will kill microorganism, not organism, but to kill microorganism. And disinfectant, the difference is antiseptic can be applied on the surface of the body, the living. Okay, antiseptic can be applied on living body, while disinfectant can is applied on the non-living surface. Okay. Very good. Question number five. Name three examples of ionizing radiation used in aseptic technique. So, of course, it is, uh, we can see here, um, three ultraviolet ray, X-ray, and gamma ray at page 36. Okay, page 36, these three ray. Okay, question number six. Take the type of substance that is used to treat the following infection disease. Three type of substance. What are the three type of the substance for athletic food, pneumonia, and stringless? Okay, so the answer is at page 40. You can find uh, for pneumonia, you need to use antibiotic. For athlete, athlete food, you need to use antifungal. And for stringless, you want to use antiviral. So that's it for the for this video and I hope to see you next time. Hope you enjoy it. Thank you and bye bye.